Fireworks on Capitol Hill today during the confirmation hearing of Dr. Rachel Levine, the former Pennsylvania Secretary of Health. She is openly transgender and has been appointed by President Biden to be the Assistant Secretary of Health. Now, some of the fiery questioning today centered on transgender issues. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on today's hearing. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Jessica. Republican Senator Rand Paul criticized Dr. Levine for her support of gender affirming surgery and hormone therapy for minors. Now he's being accused of making harmful misrepresentations and for looking for a fight with Dr. Levine. Let it go into the record that the witness refused to answer the question. Senator Rand Paul verbally attacked Dr. Rachel Levine during her Senate confirmation hearing. Dr. Levine, the former health secretary in Pennsylvania, if confirmed, would be the highest ranking openly trans official in the federal government. Thank you so much for that question. Much of the hearing focused on the pandemic and other health issues, but Senator Paul's question centered on what's being called transphobic misinformation. Genital mutilation is considered particularly egregious. The senator inaccurately described gender affirming surgery and hormone treatments prescribed for transgender adolescents. Dr. Levine, do you believe that minors are capable of making such a life changing decision as changing one's sex? Transgender medicine is a very complex and nuanced field um, with robust research and uh, standards of care that have been developed. If I am fortunate enough to be confirmed as the Assistant Secretary of Health, I will look forward to working with you. Dr. Levine gave the same answers to a barrage of accusations and questions from Senator Paul, who was widely criticized on Twitter. I think he's a terribly misinformed and ill-educated on the subject of transgender medicine and surgery. Dr. Sherman Lease is a world-renowned transgender surgeon who operates in the Philadelphia region. He calls Senator Paul's comments discriminatory. Those remarks have nothing to do with, with Rachel Levine, who's a highly qualified physician. She's trained in pediatrics and psychiatry. Now, conservatives have criticized the nomination of Dr. Levine over concerns she would, quote, normalize being transgender. But LGBTQ advocate groups have celebrated her nomination. She would be the highest ranking transgender official in the federal government if confirmed. Yuki? Stephanie, thank you.